Hello and welcome to yet another of the Gladstone Jail videos. Uh, this one is to do with C Wing or C Block, uh, which is the whole maximum security experimental thing, etc. etc. Um, now, this is the, the spooky stuff. I um, detailed a, an experience that I had in there. <laughs> it sounds weird saying, oh, I had an experience in there. Oh, yes, I went into cell 69. Um, so, yes, this is me talking about C-Block or C-Wing or the experimental wing or any kind of, I'm sure, a few chicken wings happened as well. <laughs> This was a, a detailed description or a description of something that had happened to me in there that was quite quite a nasty uh, experience. So anyway, here I am talking about what happened to me. There's been a couple of nasty incidents that have happened with me. Um, one was probably the nastiest one I've had with doing this stuff for a long, long time. I was standing around about where the, the open door is, open cell door is there, cell 99 I think it was, and I'm doing all the sort of the ghost box stuff and the atmosphere is feeling worse and worse and worse. Um, and I'm just standing there and I'm kind of a bit stoic about this. Um, and I had four layers of clothing, um, clothing. I had t-shirt, sweat because it was freezing. I had t-shirt, sweatshirt, rugby top, and this, and this is quite thick. Um, so under those four quite thick layers of clothing, there was a hand right here. It was revolting. I felt so, it was so awful. And um, I just, please stop, and persisted. And I'm like, no, no, please stop. And it persisted, it felt like it was getting lower. And in the end, I think you probably would have heard me in Gladstone um, when I just turned around, stop! And uh, I don't, I, I, I went so loud, my beanie moved. Um, but it was a horrible experience. <coughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I actually forgot that I'd recorded something just after that incident in, in Seawing. Um, and so this probably gives you a bit of an idea of how unnerved the whole thing made me feel. Well, it's actually been quite freaky in here, um, where, where am I staying? Um, in Seawing. It actually felt like someone was trying to, I, I have four layers of clothes here and it felt like someone, was, it felt like something was actually touching my skin. Um, I had to use a tone of voice I haven't used for years and that's my growl voice. Um, not fun to have to do that. Hit the throat. <laughs> Uh, and as soon as I put one of my um, tape things on pause, uh, I, a noise came out of nowhere. Um, it's been very bizarre tonight. Uh, what else? Yeah, but the interesting thing is, is that um, it was cell 96 that I was um, in front of when that incident happened. Now, I could be wrong, but I think I've heard of other things happening in respect to that cell. But I wasn't in the cell, I was, the door was closed and I was in front of it. Aside from that, yeah, it's, a, it's been an absolutely freaky night. Um, and it's cold. It's really cold. Um, I think that's, that's it. That was from the bottom place. Um, but yeah, I'm not going down ceiling again tonight, no bloody way. Yeah, I actually had forgotten I'd recorded that, which is 
strange, but it was so cold. In actual fact, I went up onto the tower and that was it was like minus one degree or something like that. It was just so cold. It was in the middle of winter and I was just really, really looking. Just, oh, they <laughs> and the crackling in the background was the fire. Um, just, just to kind of let you know that that's what it was. There was the text there, but I'm just, just, you know. Uh, so anyway, with my kind of strange intro and outro, I hope you enjoyed all of that, and I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, now you take care. Above all things, you take care now. Alright, see you then. Ciao.